um, AJAX transmitter or the multi transmitter executes the wired sensor signals transmission straight into the wireless uh, AJAX alarm system. Well, in that way, so that they become a full featured part of the system. If you haven't yet uh, want to or not yet planning a full transition to the wireless type, and AJAX OC Bridge is a completely opposite solution. It allows to integrate the AJAX wireless detectors into a wired alarm system. And I know many people who wondered how to combine the high collision intercom uh, with the AJAX alarm in the alarm dash. Uh, intercom control panel style. Well, the control panel uh, here is the intercom monitor itself and it's also convenient to have all your alarm notifications in a one place, isn't it? So that's what we are going to do now. My name is Daniel, your Omni People System Store channel where we've got for you the burglar alarms and intercoms and everything you might need for a security system. And we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. As a result, we get quite a nice scheme working here. AJAX sensors transmit the wireless signals to the OC bridge integration device, which converts them into white ones oh, <laughs> and outputs them to the intercom to display the alarm signals with um, such a wires. And from there, they also go to our phone in a wireless form. Well, uh, isn't this awesome? And here's the trick. Do AJAX sensors passive infrared for motion and a magnetic red switch uh, for the door opening, which uh, were previously connected wirelessly and enrolled into the OC bridge device as zone 1 and zone 2. And here is a high vision IP intercom with wired alarm inputs. There they are. We took the communication from the device box and according to this diagram here on the body back, located the ground, which is 2 in here on the right, and gave it to the ground, respectively, on the bridge. We've located the inputs for zone 1, it's 3 and 4 here, and zone 2, and well, in accordance, plug them into the terminals on the bridge, the 1 and 2. Nothing complicated, really, but that's not all. The first obstacle on your way is to find a mini USB cable, <laughs> exactly the mini USB, since the bridge can be connected only in this way in 2020. And its setup is possible only with a computer. Well, okay, we coped, coped with the uh, first task and then moved to the PC part. First up, we download the uh, OC Bridge Configurator tool and the drivers for it. You'll find all the links in the description. Uh, so, install the driver and regarding the configurator, choose the full installation or the portable ver version like I did. And then run it. Uh, now, we got a uh, mini USB to the uh, bridge, other cable end to the computer. Where's my port? Hold up this side. Oh yeah. All right. And turn the bridge on. There we go. And I can hear a signal that my PC recognized as something like a new device. Okay. And we also get a color indication here. I mean, it's charging, it's online, so it's good. Now here, uh, we need to open the device manager on a computer. Go into the device manager and the thing we have to check first of all is the ports. So due to the installation of that driver, you'll get this ST Microelectronics Virtual COM port under a COM5 or could be other, but you just have to look, uh, see which one you got and um, memorize and remember this uh, number. So it's five for me, I'm closing. And here, back to the uh, AJAX configurator, I'm going into connection, settings, and selecting a COM5. Well, depending on what do you have, of course. Now, okay, and um, we'll just simply click in connect. And there we go, we are connected since we didn't get any error message, so we're really good. And first thing we do, we add a zone, attention, okay, skipping. Uh, zone type, alarm. Uh, of course, zone name, zone one. Okay, now uh, adding a second zone by analogy, zone two, alarm. Okay, okay. And the initial state is NC, normally closed, which uh, well is the standard, which is a default setting, so it's all good here. Now we go into zone number one and press an add device. And uh, now 
We remove the back cover on the device. Let it be a motion protect first. There we go. And um, so there's an ID of the device here. And what we do, it's funny, it's funny. There's a little trick here that you won't find in, manu in manuals. So instead of entering the device ID, we simply fill this space out here with the F letter, well, entirely. And uh, turn and press search and boom, switch. And we got the device with the same ID printed on here. I mean, uh, no manual would tell you this. Okay. Okay, now uh, also make it a uh, activity by 24 hour and press OK. Nice, the first sentry is edit. Now we go into zone two and by analogy, oh, that, let me close the lid in the back. Just, I have to get the tamper alarm and other stuff. Okay, uh, pretty much done, pretty much good was this. Okay, and now create the add device two again. Device ID again, F, 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 F. Now, get into the device, opening the lid. Come on, come on, boy, you can do this. Now, pressing the search and turning it on. And there we go. Device Ajax Door Protect 20D. Same, it is here. Uh, selecting the 24 hour active again. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do, the push the button, the right. Oh, literally uh, load all the settings uh, right into the Ajax OC bridge. And uh, we're done. You can close the software where no longer need the PC. Now, as I specified earlier, repeat this scheme. Look first, look at this diagram. Find the ground, which is I2 on the right here, and output it to the last terminal on the bridge. Then find zones one and two, it's I2 and three here accordingly. Uh, three and four and put it in the uh, bridges terminal. And now the configuration on the uh, monitor itself. So uh, we just simply go into its settings, the third tab, press shortcut settings. Oh, it should be, and right. And we are turning on the alarm. All right, now we go into zone settings and now we're gonna uh, turn on and set up our sensors. So first one will be the PIR detector under zone one. So it'll be a passive infrared, which is it. Now, uh, the second is the instant alarm only. We don't need it a 24 hour. And uh, the first position, the initial is NC, which is normally closed, which is okay and a standard position. Okay, fine, great. Now zone number two, and we have a magnetic door detector, the Ajax door protect. So, oh, hold up. No, not the gas detector. The door magnetic, instant alarm, and NC normally closed. Okay, now we need to turn the zones on for our different statuses. So first is the stay mode when you're home, turning them on, and the away mode, turning both devices on. Which is great, okay. Now get back to the main screen and we're gonna uh, set the password for our alarm. So press here. Well, I like, the, I like that icon. You can go other way, but still I like this one. All right, on this on password, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, wasn't I? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, now we're able to uh, arm the system, pressing the password. There we go. The system is armed. And now we're gonna test it. So, uh, hello? Answer alarm. There we have it. Um, one more time, you will be sure, right? There you go. And now it's inactive. All right, now it's inactive. And boom. Yep, just what you was asking for. Now, hold up, let that guy stop. And the uh, second zone, so you can see zone one, Passive infrared alarm. I'm also gonna. Oh, how can I forget about this? I should show you this on my phone to you too. So I go here and I got the all the notifications on my phone, PIR alarm, so you can see it. And now the magnetic on the zone two. And there we go. Zone two, door magnetic alarm, which is instant and, well, accurate, isn't it? Let's close it back. 
and open again. If you update it here, open, close, detector, alarm, there we go. And uh, the next thing we can do, go to the high connect, we go to the monitor, and we can do it through a phone. So we go to the, um, oh, it was in stay home. We make it stay home. Yeah, and we're gonna uh, disarm. Can I disarm in here? I don't remember. I think I can, but, oh, or, or not. <laughs> I don't remember, honestly. Okay. Come here, one push to disarm, three, four, five, six, there we go, disarmed. Now we're home, and now if you disjunk the parts, nothing's gonna happen. And the same for the PIR, reading and active, nothing is happening here, and we're pretty much done, and this is awesome, isn't it? This is a uh, good option for those who still have a wired uh, security system and are not planning to switch to wireless. It's also a good idea if you uh, want to have all of your notifications in uh, one place, including the comfort of the integration itself and between them. Yeah? And then we can also bring the high vision cameras into the Ajax phone app, making it a great couple. Features and convenience, I suppose. And in our People System Store, we've got for you all parts that you might need for security system. The bug alarms and uh, intercoms and cameras and managers will carry your project. And we're waiting for you. Thank you for watching.